Quick song, I'm just going to show you how to get the Mac running uh, back burner. So submitting jobs from Windows and rendering on the Mac um, and Windows if you wanted to, but essentially I got the Mac side going. So I'll show you uh, the steps I used to, to do this. So first thing I did is actually created a uh, path, uh, a solid path on my uh, root drive here, So which is the IP to my server where all the files are sitting. So um, basically there's the machine and there's the share folder and then from there um, it's just through your, your whatever shared folders are, are within that, that that you share over the network. So I just made a make directory, the IP address and then the share, so two make directories. And then what I do in the terminal here, oops, let me just uh, minimize this. So in the terminal then all I need to do is uh, just clear this to make it cleaner. Uh, I do a mount. There's an SMB uh, file system mount specifically. So what I do is uh, use the SMBFS. Uh, here's my network Samba directory and then I'm mounting it to basically the identical one. Uh, and the idea is uh, all the operating systems have to have the same um, same mounts, all right? So without that, nothing will work. So I'm just going to hit enter on that. Uh, and it should go through. It takes a second or so to mount everything. And now, there it is. My share is actually done. You see it pop up in the finder. So I'm good here. Uh, the next thing you need to do is, uh, I'm just going to cat this, but I have to create a file in my paths.d file uh, folder in the etc directory. And what this is, does is basically sets my uh, path. So when I type in render, uh, that you know it just renders the job, or it calls the render.exe, or the render executable for my, sorry, I'm getting all my Mac and Windows things mixed up here. Uh, so paths.d, and then I created a file called render. It's just simple as that. And inside the file, I simply have a path to the bin directory, the Maya bin directory, depending on the version. And once that's all set up, uh, I just type in render now in my uh, terminal. And then you can see that it didn't work. Obviously, I typed it incorrectly. You can see the missing file name, um, which is exactly what we want. So I, at this point, am pretty much ready to submit renders to uh, from Maya. Uh, first thing I need to do, obviously, is turn on the server. So I, I'm going to manually do this, launch it that way. It should be running. And then I'm going to use a tail here just to see what's going on. Uh, saying app's already running. It's, so that's fine. Let's just make sure it's connected here. No, it's not. Let's try this again. Okay. I'm going to grip this and see what's going on here. The pipe grip. Uh, something is running here that's that it doesn't like. Oh, it's, it's still a job going here, so I'm going to kill that. 971. So let's try this now. There we go. Okay, so we got the back burner running the server. It's connected to my Windows machine. You can see it here. And now I'm going to go into my and show you how I submit the jobs here. Uh, I'm only going to render on the Mac for now just to show that it does work. Um, so first thing is when you load a project, you have to make sure you're using the full UNC path to the project. So everything I've done is 10.142.222.98 share. Uh, that's how I mounted the drives. Um, that's how Windows sees the UNZ path, and that's how Backburner is going to submit the job. At that point, I'm going to create a Backburner job. I'm just going to ignore that. I call it Mac Test 2, and I mean, I don't even need that stuff there, but I'll leave it. Um, there's my manager name, and finally, the, the most important part is your render. So we set the paths on both Windows and Mac. Uh, I just said on the, you just helped me do it on the Mac. Um, but I'm going to submit the job at this point. Go to my queue. There it is. Let's go to my my back burner on the Mac, and it should be rendering. Let me just jump over to the Mac here, and see it's been it's it's being assigned tasks, so you know that it's actually completing the jobs. If I go back to my queue, if you want to see, so all these jobs are being completed. So I'm going to cancel this, and now I'm going to go back. I'm going to actually turn on my. Windows 1, so we can actually see two boxes are going to be rendering the mixed environment, Windows and a Mac. 
just has extra insurance just to prove that the files are being built and correctly. I'm going to delete those frames. Uh, I'm pretty much ready to set, submit these jobs now. So I'll go back in here, create back burner job, ignore it. It keeps all my old settings in there. I'm going to submit that like so. Go back to my queue monitor. You'll see it show up and you see that all these guys are going to be rendering. See which servers are doing what, completed. Uh, Quad core is a lot faster, obviously, than uh, my my laptop, but everything's being assigned and rendering, and it just has extra insurance. Here's my frames that are being rendered out, no problems, and that's pretty much it.